Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Anthem's Jan comes in with a question, and yes, this is my son, Junior Deals, here, uh, pinch hitting in for Rogue. Anthem's comes in with a question. Why don't you read that question over there? Tech, what are your thoughts on Hackintosh? How do you feel about the, about the performance of editing, music production, and CAD cross-platform apps on the Mac OS? I try very hard not to, and this is probably not the answer that Anthem wanted to hear, but this is the answer that he is going to get. Let me preface this by saying all of my comments and advice are based upon the United States of America. And the reason for that is because that's where I live, and so that's the place I am familiar with. I am familiar with how the end user license agreements work here. I'm familiar with how the general law works here. No, I'm not a lawyer. No, I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. But I can tell you this. In the United States of America, Hackintoshes are illegal. They are a violation of the end user license agreement. Now, I have seen many people try to talk around it and be clever and cute and say, oh, but years ago I bought a retail boxed copy of the Mac OS. Apple has not actually sold the Mac OS for a very long time, and you are not running a modern version of the Mac OS using a old boxed license. Oh, but tech, I bought a, a MacBook or an iMac. I bought a recent Mac. I bought one of those Mac minis. Therefore, I have a license to use the Mac OS. Yes, you do on Apple branded hardware. I have actually looked. I've looked because that's the kind of person I am. What can I say? I have a, I have a question. What? So when you say illegal, does that mean you can go to jail for it? Technically, yes. Realistically, no. You would not go to jail for that. Um, it is, you could end up being sued for it. Apple could cause you trouble for it. It's not the sort of thing that, that law enforcement is going to bother you about because they okay. just, they've got 500 million other things to do besides that. But if Apple chose to make a stink of it, where Apple chooses to enforce it is if somebody tries to uh, build Hackintoshes and distribute them, or if somebody tries to build an image and they create a website and they distribute, you know, they, uh, Apple's kind of funny because sometimes they go after it and sometimes they don't. Now, are there YouTubers who make videos about this? Yes. Are there people who do this? Yes. People rob banks, too. That doesn't make it okay. No, I'm not equating it to robbing a bank, but they're both illegal. Yeah. The end user license agreement states that your license to run the Mac OS is only applicable to running Apple branded hardware, meaning the, the MacBook Pro or the iMac or the Mac Mini that you bought. And it does not apply to anything else. You are not allowed to install the Mac OS on non-Apple hardware. Now, obviously there are ways to make that happen. And Apple kind of sort of doesn't really make too much of a fuss about it. I certainly am aware that people do it. However, you are stealing, or rather you're engaging in copyright infringement. The actual crime, if you're curious, is copyright infringement. It's the same thing as if you make copies of Blu-rays and DVDs. Pe people do that too. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing if people... Here's an example. If somebody on YouTube downloads our YouTube videos without permission, that's copyright infringement. We do not give, and YouTube does not give permission to people to download our videos. The only exception to that is if you are a YouTube premium member. On mobile devices, YouTube gives you the ability to download videos for offline viewing because on mobile devices like an iPhone or an Android, they have control over the app that you're running. And there's usually like a 30 day lock. It has to phone in, you know, every so often to make sure that it's, you know, you're still subscribed, you're still a premium member. Mm -hmm. It does not give you the ability to download the videos on the desktop. Spoiler alert, it is not hard to download YouTube videos on the desktop. There are multiple applications that will do this for you very easily. If you type in, download YouTube video into Google of all places, you will find lots of ways to do it. Do I care if our viewers download our videos for their personal private viewing at home? No, I don't think so. I do actually, but there's nothing I can do about it. 
Because here's the thing. If you download our videos at home and you watch them offline, I don't get a view count and I don't get any ad revenue. It literally is taking money from us. However, what's going to happen to the person who does it? Let's be honest. Not Not much. Here's where it gets interesting. If you then take that video and you re-upload it to YouTube or you put it somewhere else online where it's publicly viewable, then you can do something about it. Then you can do something about it. If you were to upload somebody else's video, you subject yourself to financial penalties that can be extremely severe. Literally millions of dollars of liabilities. And there are people who have been sued by Warner Brothers and Disney for redistributing and making available their work online. And it's, it's not a pleasant thing. Now, how in the world okay. do we get talking about this when we're talking about Hackintoshes? If you download the Mac OS and put it on your own personal machine at home, um, the Gestapo is not going to go kick down your door. Apple is not going to sue you. Nothing's going to happen to you. However, here's how I kind of feel about it. People say, Tech, why don't you do videos on Hackintoshes? Tech, why don't you build a Hackintosh and show us how to do it? We make our living on copyrighted material. We do? That's what this is. We make our living on creating content. We are content creators. Well, you, much less me. Well, but as a family, well, as the tech family. We make a, I, our income comes from the creation of original content that we get money for. A Hackintosh is literally taking something that somebody else created and not paying them for it. That does not sound good. Why any YouTuber makes a video about this blows my freaking mind. I don't make videos about how to torrent movies. I don't make videos about how to crack software. I don't make videos about ad blockers. People say, oh, just use an ad blocker. You do realize that that's like preventing us from earning ad money from what we do for a living. So when people ask me about Hackintoshes, I'm sort of like, do you realize that you just like asked the bank manager what the weaknesses in his bank are? It, it's, um. that, that's like, it bothers me at an intrinsic level because it's literally what we do for a living. And you want to go take Apple's OS, violate their terms of service, their end user license agreement. Now, in terms of a philosophical point of view, I think Apple is crazy. I think they should license the Apple OS. I think they could double their market share tomorrow. I think the Apple OS could be real competition for Windows. I would love to see Windows have real competition. I would absolutely love for them to sell. They could sell, they could charge $200 a box and they would find buyers at that price. Drivers and compatibility, you know, I mean, obviously the work would have to go in to make it work, but you can do that. You can fix that. Apple has a few dollars. I would love to see them do that. But when you say, Tech, what do you think about Hackintoshes? I think you're taking Apple's original work and using it in a way that you're not authorized to do so, which is very much like taking our videos and watching them without getting us viewer ad credits. I can't stop you, but I sure as heck am not going to help or support you in doing either one of those activities. And why anybody think I would think, I don't understand why YouTubers do it. I see YouTubers do it. I'm fully aware that YouTubers do it. It's not hard to find. But you know what? There's YouTubers who make videos about ad blockers too. There's YouTubers who make videos about everything. Or pretty much everything. You can find you look something up, you 
could probably find it. Yeah. So that's my opinion, and it's not what you asked, but it's the answer you got. And it's the only answer you're going to get, because I have no idea how well Hackintoshes work, because I've never done one. Uh, I've used Macintoshes many times over the years. I used to be very big into Macintoshes back in the late 90s, the Power Mac era, the, uh, the beige G3s, and the 7600 and 7200. That was back during the better times when you could actually upgrade an Apple as opposed to today. But uh, that's the answer you're going to get. And um, I do appreciate the question and thanks for the support. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.